Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to my 31 Days of Horror in October, Day 19. Now today we're going to be talking about Scared Stiff. Now Scared Stiff is a 1987 film, which runs approximately 83 minutes, and is directed by Richard Friedman. Now he was responsible for Text, Born, and Ground Zero. Now, this stars Andrew Stevens as David Young. He was in The Pledge, The Seduction, and a favorite of mine, Ten to Midnight. It also stars Mary Page Keller as Kate Christopher. She was in Spooner, Gigantic, and Beginners. And David Ramsey as George Masterson. He was in The Clairvoyant and Santa Barbara, The Soap Opera. Now, when I was younger, my mom used to watch Santa Barbara all the time, and I remember coming home from school, I believe it was on at 3 o'clock, and it was always taping. And I used to catch it a lot of times because it's very different from the way things are now because we didn't have DVRs and stuff like that. Although I still couldn't place the guy in Santa Barbara. But anyway, now this is a United States film. It had a budget of $1.3 million, and it was filmed in a mansion on Star Island in Miami. Now, the dynamic of the characters breaks down like this. Uh, Andrew Stevens plays David Young, who is a psychiatrist who works in an asylum, that had committed a former singer named Kate Christopher. They kind of fell in love while she was in the asylum, she has a son, and they decided to move in a mansion together in Louisiana, I do believe, to kind of get her singing career started again. Now, weird things start to happen in the house, especially when they go up in the attic. They end up finding some artifacts from George Masterson, and I... I kind of want to tell you what the artifacts were, but I kind of don't at the same time. You can see on the front here, it's like a, um, like a clay sort of face thing. Well, this took place back in slavery times, and he wasn't exactly nice to his slaves. He kind of changed when he started getting into black magic. So, they end up finding some artifacts in the attic, and strange things are happening in the house. That's about as far as I'm going to go. There's a lot more to it. I was actually kind of disappointed with this one. To be honest, I was kind of bored. Now, I will say that the end is a huge, awesome payoff. But it just didn't make up for the rest of the film being kind of dull. And I was disappointed in that because I really enjoyed the premise. I thought that the premise was definitely interesting. But there was too much filler. And that's kind of bad for an 83-minute film, in my opinion. I've always liked Andrew Stevens. Uh, my favorite with him is probably 10 to Midnight, although I also do like The Seduction a lot. He, I find him to be a good actor. The acting in general was pretty good for the most part. It just took a little too long to get to the payoff at the end. So, And it's a pretty wacky movie. It's almost like they didn't know what they wanted to do, so they threw a little bit of everything in the film. They're supernatural. It's a creature feature. Um, kind of exorcism stuff. Satanist stuff, you name it, this film basically has it. Zombies, it's got that too. <laughs> and I usually like these type of movies. But it just didn't seem like the director knew what kind of film he wanted to make. And that's a shame. Now eventually I will probably re-watch this at some time. And maybe it'll strike me a little differently, but... As a rule, up until the end, I was kind of bored with it. I mean, I was on board with it in the beginning. This is the alternate artwork, by the way. Which I think is pretty cool, too. 
I was on board with it. I thought it was going to be a really neat um, concept, and it turned out to be very interesting. But like I said, it just took a little too long to get to the end. And stay tuned for day 20. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Thank you.